I think that was what intrigued me to join March because I knew I wanted to do tech PR and I love the international aspect. I think definitely when you're taking like briefing notes or you're doing a sourcing call, like what they're saying when you can't hear them if there's an accent. I'm, I'm a little bit deaf, so I mean the accent, like I have a hard time understanding Martin half the time and he's just British. <laughs> and I think that the longer you work with a client, you get to know them. So you understand their language more and that's not like their literal pronunciations, but like what they mean in the context of what they're saying um, as, you, as time goes on and you get to know them. Planning ahead um, helps a lot when you're coordinating with you know, three different time zones and you know, briefings and announcements. So as much information as you can get ahead of time is helpful. Um, I think it just comes with the territory. Um, everyone has email on their phone, and so you can react um, when you need to. I mean, it's important to have a work-life balance, and I think March is really good about that. For instance, I've had briefings take place at 4 in the morning or 10 o'clock at night, and so you just sort of come in a little bit later that day or leave a bit, little bit earlier. Um, March is really good about helping you have a, a life. <laughs>Absolutely. I think that Martin and Cheryl's roots in the UK, I mean, I think that helped establish them and grow their network from the UK, so that's why we have quite a few there. We're sort of used to spanning the time zones and like having the mornings be really busy for the European clients, and since March has had a presence on the West Coast, we have a lot more West Coast clients, so it actually, I think, helps spread out your day. Like, your morning is really busy for your European clients, but then they sign off and go to bed and then your West Coast clients are waking up and you know sometimes you have um, East Coast ones waking up in between it sort of I think it's it's not so much a challenge um, because they have a US or they want a US presence they're not like there's no really like cultural difficulties I think localizing the language is a one thing if say for instance we're working with a UK client and you know the Z's and the C's and the S's and those sort of differences but um, I mean that's fairly easy. So yeah. Martin, his accent sometimes I just have difficulty understanding him. He talks really fast so one time he um, came up to me um, and he asked me to water his plants but I heard launder my pants so I was like, sure, are your pants in your office? And he was like, what, are you, what do you think I'm saying right now? <laughs> and I was like, do you want me to take your pants to the dry cleaning? And he was like, no, no, please water my plants while I'm gone. And I, I did, but I think I killed them, so he hasn't asked me since.